thymomas, and thymic carcinoma, a systematic review, thoracic masterclass. Although thymomas and thymic carcinomas only represent 0.2 to 1.5% of all malignancies, they are the most common tumor found in the anterior mediastinum. The differential diagnosis of a mediastinal mass is broad, including malignant and benign etiologies, such as lymphomas, germ cell tumors, thymic tumors, thyroid goiter, infections such as tuberculosis, and granulomatous disorders such as sarcoidosis. Thymomas account for about 20% of mediastinal neoplasms, and about 50% of primary anterior mediastinum neoplasms. Nevertheless, these are uncommon tumors, with an estimated overall incidence in the USA of 0.13 to 100,000 person years. Incidences are similar in males and females, increasing from 40 years of age, and peaking at 70 years. The World Health Organization Histologic Classification is currently the most widely used classification system of thymic epithelial tumors, and was most recently revised in 2015. The latest version focuses on histologic and immunohistochemical diagnostic criteria for thymomas, and the distinction between thymomas and thymic carcinomas. Classification, thymoma subtype, obligatory, and optional criteria, type A. Occurrence of bland spindle-shaped epithelial cells, paucity or absence of immature, TDT+, T-cells throughout the tumor, polygonal epithelial cells, CD20+, epithelial cells, atypical, type A variant, criteria of type A+, comedo, type tumor necrosis increased mitotic count, nuclear crowding, polygonal epithelial cells, CD20+, epithelial cells, type AB, occurrence of bland spindle-shaped epithelial cells, Abundance of immature, TDT+, T-cell focally, or throughout tumor, polygonal epithelial cells, CD20+, epithelial cells, type B1, thymus, like architecture and cytology abundance of immature T-cells areas of medullary differentiation, paucity of polygonal or dendritic epithelial cells without clustering, Hassel's corpuscles, perivascular spaces, type B2, increased numbers of single or clustered cligonal or dendritic epithelial cells intermingled with abundant immaturity cells, medullary islands, Hassel's corpuscles, perivascular spaces, type B3, sheets of polygonal slightly to moderately atypical epithelial cells, absent or rare intercellular bridges, paucity, or absence of intermingled TDT plus T cells, Hassel's corpuscles, perivascular spaces, MNT, micronodular thymoma with lymphoid stroma. Nodules of bland spindle or oval epithelial cells surrounded by an epithelial cell-free lymphoid stroma, lymphoid follicles, monoclonal B cells and plasma cells, metaplastic thymoma, biphasic tumor composed of solid areas of epithelial cells in a background of bland-looking spindle cells, absence, or immaturity cells, pleomorphism of epithelial cells, acting keratin, emopositive spindle cells, rare others, microscopic thymoma. Sclerosing thymoma lipofibrodinoma. Approximately, one-third of patients diagnosed with thymoma are asymptomatic at time of presentation, with the growing use of computer tomography, CT, scans for diverse conditions, as well as screening for lung cancer. The number of asymptomatic patients diagnosed with thymomas is increasing, nearly 40% of patients present with symptoms related to the mass effect of the tumor, most commonly cough, chest pain, and dyspnea. Cases complicated by superior vena cava syndrome are also occasionally reported. Perineoplastic syndromes, most frequently myasthenia gravis in 25% of cases, are frequently associated with thymomas. Others include systemic lupus erythematosus, 2.4%, pure red cell aplasia, 1.2%, sarcoidosis, 0.9%, and rheumatoid arthritis, 0.7%, were frequently observed. A contrast enhanced CT scan of the chests, CT scans play a role in characterization of the tumor, staging, and follow-up, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, scans are most helpful in cases of suspected infiltration of the heart and great vessels, or to differentiate a thymic malignancy from a thymic cysts, the need for biopsy prior to treatment depends on tumor resectability, patients with tumors amenable to complete resection should undergo surgery.
which will establish a definitive diagnosis as well as provide a therapeutic benefit, if the tumor cannot be completely resected, or if lymphoma is considered a likely diagnosis, then a histologic diagnosis with a core needle biopsy, or an open biopsy should be performed, prior to any systemic therapy, or radiation. Chest C ray signs of the thymus gland, thymic sale sign, represents a triangular shape inferior margin of the Norman thymus, seen on a neonatal frontal chest radiograph, thymic wave sign, refers to the indentation of the Norman thymus in young children by the ribs, resulting in a wave A border on chest radiograph, thymic notch sign, represents the Norman thymus in a newborn on frontal chest X-ray, interruption of the cardiac silhouette forms on notch, which may be seen on either side, but more frequently seen on the left side, thymoma, soft tissue density projecting to the left of the mediastinum, the distal part of the arch, and the proximal descending a water can be seen as separate suggesting it is located anterior to these structures. Thymoma and contrast CT scan, it is very important to realize in ordering a scan for these patients to include contrast, to scan showing the importance of enhancing the vascular structure with contrast to answer the question whether the mass invading vascular structure or not, which will determine resectability. MRI in many cases determine resectability, and vascular invasion, the modality is superior to contrast CT scan particularly in borderline cases. The modified mass AOCA, COGA staging system, is widely used for both thymomas and thymic carcinomas, stage 1, refers to macro, and microscopically completely encapsulated mass, not invading the capsule, stage 2, A, microscopic transcapular invasion, stage 2B macroscopic invasion into surrounding fatty tissue, or grossly adherence to but not through mediastinal pleura, or pericardium, stage 3, macroscopic invasion into neighboring organs, stage 3A without invasion of great vessels, 3B with invasion of great vessels, stage 4, pleural, or pericardial dissemination, stage 4B lymphogenous, or hematogenous metastasis. Different immunohistochemical markers has been used to differentiate between mediastinal lesions, this table shows some of the markers used in their presence, or absence in different mediastinal masses. Algorithm of management of thymoma, according to resectability thymomas are either resectable or unresectable, according to those resectable tumors, R0, stage 1 R4 follow-up, stage 2 to 4, should take post-operative radiotherapy, for R1, Thymoma are considered for post-operative radiotherapy, assignment carcinoma pathology are considered for chemo and radiotherapy, resectable R2 masses, follows the same role as R1, unresectable masses are for biopsy first, and then subjected for primary chemotherapy, if downstaging is achieved and that is it you will a mass is left, surgery could be applied and followed by radiotherapy otherwise chemo radiotherapy are given, and follow up for life. The World Health Organization Histologic Classification is currently the most widely used classification system of thymic epithelial tumors, and was most recently revised in 2015. The latest version focuses on histologic and immunohistochemical diagnostic criteria for thymomas, and the distinction between thymomas and thymic carcinomas. Surgery for thymus tumors. Prior to any surgical procedure, all patients suspected to have thymus, whether symptomatic or not, should undergo assessment of serum anticholinesterase receptor ab levels. This patient have Messenia grievous, and neurological evaluation should be obtained to avoid perioperative respiratory failure. Surgery is the mainstay of management, so the first step is to assess resectability. Video assisted thoracoscopy should be done in selected cases. The tenets of recommendations include a complete resection, a no sternal division or rib spreading, an open approach is recommended, if a section of adjacent structures like superior vena cava, or phrenic nerve is required, it is much easier to perform an oncologically sound resection via sternotomy, and easy to compromise oncologic principles, if one is not experienced with minimal invasive resections. Non-invasive thymoma 
or thymic carcinoma, surgical resection, complete resection of a well-encapsulated non-invasive thymoma, who are the risk of local recurrence of less than 2%, patient with myasthenia gravis, operative mortality can be minimized with close attention to respiratory support when planning surgical treatment, radiation therapy is not indicated following complete resection of a well-encapsulated thymoma, radiation therapy should be considered, however, in rare cases when a non-invasive tumor is incompletely resected, and when the patient is a poor surgical risk. Invasive thymoma, or thymic carcinoma, if the case is operable, in-block surgical resection is possible, in patient with myasthenia gravis, operative mortality can be minimized with close attention to respiratory support when planning surgical treatment, following surgical resection. Radiation therapy is generally recommended whether or not the surgical section has been complete, especially for stage 3 and stage 4A patients. Retrospective clinical studies showed improved local control and survival with the addition of postoperative radiation therapy, inoperable stage 3 and 4 with superior vena cava obstruction, pleural involvement, pericardial implants, radiation therapy has been shown to achieve local control in 60% and up to 90% of cases doses should not exceed 60 J to reduce radiation-induced injury. The overall 5-year survival rates of approximately 50% are reported for unresected stage 3 tumors. There is no data concerning debulking results in the current literature, if better prognosis is achieved. Recurrent thymoma, or thymic tumors, the options for these cases are either repeat surgical resection, Radiation therapy, which is based on previous treatment, corticosteroids if the tumor is not respected, or responded to radiation therapy. Current treatment under clinical evaluation, this includes combined chemotherapy and radiation therapy for non-resectable tumors. Such a combination has achieved a 5-year survival rate of 52%. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy followed by the section. A few studies have reported on the use of chemotherapy followed by surgery with or without radiation therapy for patients with clinical advanced disease, the median survival of the entire group was 66 months. The proper surgical report should include documentation of primary tumor characteristics, and that should include the size and three dimension, the contour whether smooth or lobulated, the internal density, whether homogeneous, heterogeneous, or cystic, and the following should be stated if they are present or absent, and includes calcification, infiltration of surrounding fat, abutment of more than 50% of mediastinal structures with loss of fat plane, additional mediastinal structures tumor abuts, direct vascular endoluminal invasion. The proper surgical report should also include documentation of involvement of surrounding structures. The following should be stated as present or absent and includes abnormalities in adjacent lung parenchyma, mediastinal lymph nodes enlargement abutment of expected location of phrenic nerve, elevated diaphragm, presence of a pulmonary nodules, extrathoracic suspected metastasis, the presence of pleural effusion and nodules, whether unilateral or bilateral.